Now inside this box is the skateboard that started everything. Hey, e-skate builders and Raptor riders. If you don't know who I am, my name's Jason. I make electric skateboards. I run inertionboards.com. Sorry, I haven't done a video for a while. 2018 and the end of 2017 was crazy. I've just packed up my whole home, my business from Adelaide and moved 2000 kilometers to the Gold Coast. And this is where I am now in our new office. You just saw downstairs where we'll be doing our prototyping and development. I know a lot of Raptor customers are desperately wanting updates about where the Raptor 2 is, what's going on with our production team in China, and basically what the hell's going on. So before I get into detail about the Raptor 2, I do wanna just go back in time a little bit and explain to everyone watching how Inertion got to where we are today and what it's gonna to take to get us where we wanna be in the future. One of the earliest Raptor 2 prototype decks with the cutout. Now, interestingly enough, the samples that they sent us were perfect and our box fit in there perfectly. This is such a, a painful experience of 2017. In hindsight, it was a mistake designing such a critical design element that relied on precise cuts in mass production is a bad idea. A part of this whole journey is me learning about things that maybe if I was an expert at manufacturing, I should know, but you learn from mistakes, right? The Raptor One. This is one of the uh, last Raptor Ones ever made. Still one of the fastest production electric skateboards. I don't think anyone thought that hub motors could outperform a belt drive. And that's what made this product so amazing. People just didn't think it could happen. And I busted that myth. Took it up hills, 30% gray. And when people saw those videos and proof that this could outperform a belt drive, it could be more efficient. That's when we really got noticed on the global market and the Raptor 2 went nuts ever since then and yeah. Okay, so let's just go upstairs and I'll show you around the office space. So it's a much nicer space here actually compared to where I was in Adelaide, which was basically my garage. We've got um, an extra work space here for the graphic design and video production sides of the business. I do have another workspace here, which currently I've just basically got all my stuff on that I'm prototyping and playing around with. And this is my workstation here. So welcome to the new office. You can see I've got a little bit of a workspace here with bits and pieces everywhere. Some of the new parts that we've been developing. This is a new PCB for adapting motors to the battery. You can see it's installed here. And this is the new battery riser, which is a rubber, silicon rubber seal that goes around the battery and really makes sure that we've got a great waterproof seal against the deck, which we had to make some changes with the deck design. This is the new deck that we've developed and it doesn't have a slot cut into it. It's just got a flat, area on it um, and then the battery riser molds around the deck perfectly creating a much better waterproof seal and overall makes the product much easier to assemble eliminates any chance of issues from the deck factory um, not cutting it accurately so that's a huge problem solved and everyone who's waiting in 2018 they're going to get these new parts so 2017 was a roller coaster of a year for inertia there were highs and lows I just wanted to do a shout out to all my supporters there thank you the uh, Raptor 2 launch was a huge success there was delays we actually fired our entire production team that was responsible for producing the Raptor 2. That happened right at the end of 2017. And it was like a domino effect of headaches, basically. But it wasn't all bad news. 2017 was awesome as well. We got voted the best electric skateboard 
in the world in 2017. So we're really excited with that news. We've also been working really hard building a network of repair agents all over the globe. We've got seven countries covered now where if you've got a Raptor 2 and you need support and help, there's someone that you can call on and get it fixed up and get it tuned up and get you back on the road. The Raptor 2 was a groundbreaking product. When we launched that back in November 2016, when we first started talking about it, it was a bit crazy to make the claims we were making. We said it would be powerful. We said you could climb up hills, but we also ditched the belt. It was a hub motor system, which really was renowned for probably not being so good, but we proved everyone wrong. We busted that myth. We've done videos going up 30% incline hills. We've towed people up hills as well. Um, we've really proven that the power of the Raptor 2 and the power of the hub motor is legit. All right, I'm trying out the slow-mo right now, <laughs> and it's not slow at all. The team at Inertion has been working very hard, solving problems, and upgrading and iterating our design of the Raptor 2. The first release wasn't exactly perfect and there was a few teething problems, but we've learned from certain mistakes and we've refined the product. And unfortunately that has caused delays. And the good news is everyone who's waiting is just waiting for a better product. It's always getting better. We haven't stopped innovating. We keep pushing forward to make the best electric skateboard on the market. Nice smooth acceleration curve, very smooth. Reminds me of the Boosted uh, quite a bit. So even though Inertion is a small company, we are growing, our team's growing. We're going from strength to strength. We're bringing more people on board all the time. And at the end of the day, we're doing it just so we can serve our customers better and basically ensure that if you've got a problem and you need support, you can rely on Inertion to make sure you get the answers you need. So one of the best things about becoming a Raptor 2 owner or pre-order customer is when you've got the Raptor 2, you've actually got a modular platform of hardware. We came from a DIY background. All of the parts we use are premium high performance electric skateboard parts designed to fit together to make a really awesome electric skateboard. The best news about that is there's a whole community of people on the Electric Skateboard Builders Forum who use all the same technology. It's open source architecture. People are hacking apps together and customizing their rides. And as a Raptor 2 owner, you get to join that community and get to share your ideas and get to be involved with the rest of the world. So what we're becoming known for in the global community is customization and modularity. You can think of it a little bit like the Android operating system on your phone versus say, Apple operating systems. One's a little bit more closed and confined and Android is open and programmable and just a bit more free for the user to experiment with. So I just wanna talk directly to anyone out there waiting for their Raptor 2. I know you're all waiting for an update. You all wanna know exactly when you're going to get the product delivered to your door. Unfortunately, that's a nearly impossible answer. All I can say is that I promise to you that we are putting all of our efforts into our new production team, which as of today is back working in China. I don't know, maybe you don't know this at home, but in China during February, all production shuts down. So the last few weeks, we've been working in the background, getting our systems ready, getting our project management tools ready, getting everything ready. And today is the day where it literally can all be action and all of the parts that we have procured and prepped for final assembly are going to be ready to go now and we're going to be pushing out as hard as we can to get the boards to you so i can't give you a date all i can say is all of our resources are focused on this and they will be shipping out faster than ever before our new production team was able to produce 70 raptor twos just before they closed down for the chinese new year that is more Raptor 2s um, in, in a period of time than what we were able to achieve with our last team. So that's really positive news and I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do in 2018. So now I'd like to tell you a little bit about 2018 and what we have planned. Our team is growing. I have Roan 
behind the camera, you can't see him, but he's the new content production director. He'll be working with me on a daily basis, filming behind the scenes, everything that it takes to bring this electric skateboard together and get it to the customer. There's a lot of work that goes on here and I want you all to see what's going on so you can feel like you're a part of this journey as well. So 2018 is going to be super exciting. By the middle of the year, we'll definitely have Raptor 2s on the shelves in our fulfillment warehouses and we'll also have distributor deals with people all over the globe so you can go into a local store and get a Raptor 2 and take it home with you. So thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope you got a little snippet of information that you were hanging out for. I promise there'll be more content coming your way. If you wanna see more, hit the little bell in the bottom and you'll get notifications whenever we upload new content. We'll be sending out videos each week. I don't know, two, three, four, we'll see. See how hard Roan works. But all the information is gonna be coming out here. Um, anything you wanna know, just write questions in the bottom. We'll interact with you. If you want videos on certain topics, tell us that as well. And we're gonna be making heaps of awesome videos for 2018. Thanks again, hit subscribe, share this with your friends on social media, and we'll catch you next time. Cut. Let me do that again. Uh... <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha